Greetings, greetings, fellow nerds. Motor City Games here with a quick box opening video for the Dragoborn Rally to War set. I did a opening of the starter kit or trial deck as they call it the other day. So now we're just going to take a quick look at their booster box here for this sadly dead but enjoyable Dragoborn Rise to Pro Supremacy, Rally to War by Bushy Road. Um, there we go. Okay, let's close this up. Save this little box because that's what people do. And we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eight, twenty packs. And this is our, looks like our box topper will open up here. And we have the Shield of Log Logre, Logris, Lorgs, Rune Mark of Tiernanog, a little Gaelic in there, Insignia of Olus, Standard of Taurus, and Curse of Niflheim. Yeah, so there we go. Dragoborn. Still no smell to these, which I thoroughly enjoy. I think this is the only game, oops, bent that first card there, that's had no scent to it so we're just going to go through this one kind of quick but the artwork is my favorite part of this game it's just because it's a beautiful artwork a little lord of the rings elrond kind of look to that one i'm not going to separate the rares in this one wandering orc soul of the lost there you go shield breaker Blade of the Justicar, that's a sweet picture. A la Warhammer there. EMP. Albert Plague Spreader. Oh, that's a four. Dot. So that's a ultra rare. Move those dice out of the way. Keep going here. Merfolk Hidden Blade. One there. Succubus of Desperation. Or Guardian. Yeah, that's a nice pack. We have a rare another rare and an ultra rare that's pretty cool no foils yet but that's okay because this is just for fun i'm only collecting these because the artwork is really cool and the game is supposed to be a lot of fun to play so i'm hoping to goblin made avalanche hoping to play with my wife or friends or even just a Put it in a binder to check it out because the artwork is really cool and there we go there is a foil right there virgulsk plunderer of the deep and sarg renowned bladesmith <laughs> yeah, unfortunately the game wasn't well supported by bushy road and died out after a couple years apparently they tried to Woo the Magic the Gathering players over. There we go. A foil Succubus. Um, Darion Brutal Enforcer. Nice. They tried to woo Magic players over, and I think it was the last expansion or one of the last expansions. They tried to make the game draftable because they knew that was a hot ticket in the world of Magic the Gathering. And uh, it was too little too late. It's interesting, too. The art goes from goofy childy anime to but i guess that's probably what bushy road's known for placer or crack another emp centaur ranger flu tide of avarice it's also interesting in these games from japan or china and i apologize for not knowing i thought bushy road's japanese but um, their take, oh, that's cool artwork, almost me a little medieval manuscript on there, the Keeper. Yeah, very different art styles, which, which I enjoy. It doesn't get old, like some of the games that have the same art style for everything. Um, but what I was saying is their take on medieval France, I find hilarious. Ancient Norwood foil. And Red Fang, Born Leader. That's pretty cool. Were Beast. 
I love the variety of the creatures in this game. Frontier Explorer, Lilith's Charmer, Frontline Storm, Death Trap, oh, Frontline Stormer Foil. So Frontline Stormer and Foil Frontline Stormer. And another Doomfire Avatar. The amount of doubles though that I've received in to speak of the devil in these packs is a little disconcerting especially the number of you know doubles of rares but again as I said in my other videos you know who knows what rare is to some high priestess in uh, Alpha Clash the card that goes for the most money the Alpha Aster as like the super rare of everything turns out the print run is the same as the you know other ultra rares from alpha clash and people just charge a lot of money for it mecha warrior interesting too the machine mixed with the medieval which i have never seen uh, i guess you could say maybe in magic the gathering you have that with artifacts and the brothers war another foil there but just the artwork Guns blazing. See, you have guns and swords and bows and arrows and dragons and more dragons. And then, oh, this is interesting. I'm not sure exactly what this card is, but it's full art and it looks pretty sweet. We must rise to protect life. Amen to that, just like in real life. Replenish the ranks. Hey, that's the artwork. That's on the box. Oh, they said the name of the movie. Or the show, whatever the thing is from Family Guy that I used to watch. Sunscale Sage, Alani's Call, Shieldbreaker, Bone Club Giant, Hidden Arts, Allied Front, Ooh, Tide Chaser Captain, Foil, Variable Assault Unit, Fuma. I don't know, The uh, my least favorite so far has been these mech looking things they just they kind of take me out of the fantasy but then again when you have dragon dragons you dupa when you have skeletons rocking a electric guitar here and then veteran knights it's like they're like they oh, want to throw everything at the wall and see what sticks i guess that's cool dragon and it's only uncommon xerus the battle forged sweet viking valkyrie looking creature there Trying to go fast so my videos aren't so long and drawn out as they have been in the past. Ravenwing, Mistress of the Hunt. Falthalas, the Lost Wind. And Terox, Earthshaker. That is a kick butt looking dragon right there. Kind of reminds me of my dog when it yawns, though. Yeah, this is a definitely for the artwork alone, for the price of the. $13 it was for this booster box. I think it's pretty cool. Pyroblast. Cavalier Nosferatu. Orc Wife. Gluttony of Albert. That's wicked. And the last booster pack we have here from Dragonborn. Rise to Supremacy. Blade Dance Rogue. Mind Flare Demon. Sunscale Ascetic. Gigantor Weevil. Hidden Arts. Amber Mage. Cool Harpy. And a Tireless Hunter. So there you have it. Quick Easy, down, dirty, Drago Mage, trading card game, Dragonborn. Oh, Drago Mage, that's actually a cool name. As opposed to Dragoborn. But either way, the game is dead, but I'm alive. Thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.